Hey, what is going on guys? So you have a Samsung Galaxy Note 10 here. I'm gonna show you how to screen mirror wirelessly to your Samsung Smart TV. Very, very simple. The only you gotta do is turn your Samsung Smart TV on. And then from the phone, if you wanna be able to use uh, internet, like, um, like you wanna be able to browse uh, showing like uh, a browser or a Skype call or whatever like that, then you need to have some sort of internet and the internet will come from the phone. So you can hook this, the phone up to your home Wi-Fi network or it can use your mobile data, okay? It has nothing to do with the uh, home Wi-Fi network connection to be able to connect because it's a Wi-Fi direct connection. However, again, if you want to use the internet, you got to be hooked up to uh, a home Wi-Fi network or uh, data, okay? So first thing is this. You want to go ahead and scroll down on your uh, Note 10 here and what you want to do is you go to your um, your Wi-Fi settings here. And the thing is, you just have to have this part on, okay? If you want internet, then you have to be connected to a home Wi-Fi network or you can use your mobile data, okay? I am hooked up to my home Wi-Fi network here. Anyways, once you do that, then you wanna go back to notifications. You wanna scroll down and again, the, you see this little horizontal line? Scroll down again, oops. Scroll down again. And now we wanna look for, not screen mirror, Samsung calls it now, they call it like a uh, smart view. So we want to look for Smart View. Smart View is not on here. So go ahead and swipe to the left. And there's Smart View right there. This is the first time I'm connecting to the Samsung uh, Smart TV. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Smart View and hopefully it finds it right away. There it is, Samsung 7 Series. Let me tap on that right there. And the first time you connect to it, we should get a message on the TV. As you can see on the top right hand corner, Galaxy Note Test, your, uh, I'm sorry, Galaxy Note 10, your permission is required to connect to this TV. The first time you connect that always, that message will pop up and then just go ahead and use your remote and just click on enter to allow. And now hopefully it connects right away. And voila, you can see we're totally wireless here. Stroll up, stroll down. Uh, I'll go ahead and bring up, a, let's go ahead and bring up a browser here. It's a web browser. Go ahead and turn that over into landscape mode. And you can see right there, I'll show you some photos and videos too that's stored directly. Obviously, if you, you know if you go into your gallery here, the photos are stored directly onto the phone. So we don't need internet. So I, I, would if, so I wouldn't need my home Wi-Fi network or data. I can still connect and show everybody, my family, my photos and videos. Anyway, here's a video right here. And when I play the audio, the audio will come out from the TV, okay, not the phone. So let me press on play. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Now, when I increase, I can increase and decrease the volume from the phone, but again, the audio will come out from the TV. Let me show you a photo here as well. Here's a photo right here. And of course, we can zoom in and out just like that. Now the thing is, if you wanted to play games like live, because it's a wireless um, connection here, there is a fraction of a second like latency. So another option, if you want to play games or whatnot, rather than screen mirroring uh, wirelessly, what you can always do too is you can go wired, which is much less latency. You can use something like this. This is a 4K cable HDMI to USB type C. So basically you just go ahead and connect one end to your uh, HDMI port in the back of the TV and the USB type C you simply go ahead and plug that right into your um, Note 10. The great thing about these USB type C's is first of all it's less latency and also any TV, any computer monitor, any projector as long as it has an HDMI port to plug it into you'll be able to use this um, cable and connect your Note 10 to that particular uh, device. So anyways I'll put a link below where you can get this as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.